Okay, so sometimes I'm stupid. Alright, hang on, hang on. Try that again. Try that again. Okay. Yeah. Naha. My hair good. You my hair pretty. Okay. Okay. So only sometimes am I stupid. Hello everyone and welcome to Wednesday. I think it's I think I think today is supposed to be Wednesday. Um Two occasions in the past um, three hours, something like that, I have wound up, well, the first situation, doing something I didn't already need to do, something I'd, I had already done, and the second situation, looking at the wrong thing and trying to base measurements off of the wrong dimensions. Let me explain. First, I... I realized that the idea of running a NAS directly off of my motherboard was impossible, impractical, one of those two words. Um, literally all of the SATA ports on my motherboard, I only have eight SATA ports on my motherboard is what, is what I'm trying to say. Um, and that's exactly the amount I would need to run five hard drives plus the three on the on the bottom of the little three case um, but I also have to run a SD card reader and a um, and a, a disk drive off of those SATA ports um, at least with the current SD card reader I'm, pr I'm pretty sure the it might be that the one that I'm going to get doesn't have a SATA connection if so, that's good, but it looks like it might. So, <sighs> anyway, um, so I started looking up ways to get around that. And my first idea was to find an adapter that allows me to change an M.2 slot. For those of you who know what all this stuff means, <laughs> try to follow along. Maybe explain down in the comments what all this means, um, because I'm, I'm honestly not going to do it. Uh, <laughs> at least not right now. I'm too tired to. Um, my idea was to change an M.2 slot into two SATA ports so that I can run two SSDs off of those two SATA ports on the M.2 drive. Uh, not drive, um, attachment. Expansion? Whatever. Um, I never found that. So I was like, okay, what else can I do? Um... And I remember that there were such things as raid cards, little um, itty bitty things that plug in, plugs into a, a PCIe slot that has a bunch of SATA connections on it. And the M.2 uses the, the PCIe anyway. So by using an M.2, I would just be getting the same speed as, a, um, as the uh, PCIe. Yeah. But, <laughs> after, I don't know, an hour or so of thinking about that uh, and re doing my research, I realized, I've done this before. <laughs> I've looked at raid cards before. So I looked into my Newegg wish list, and lo and behold, there was a raid card in there. It wasn't the speed I wanted. The one I was looking at was... 3 gigabits per second and I'm wanting 6 gigabits gig, and I'm wanting 6 gigabits per second to match my motherboard's say to speed um, so I had to go researching one that was a little bit faster and get a 6 gigabit um, raid card which is right here if it's in front of my face which it should be um, so that was that was solved um, that should that should run well, considering it has four. I think last time I looked at it, it has four um, SATA ports, and that should should be fine. It's a little off color. It's green for some reason, but oh well. Um, I might cover that up with a graphics card or something. I don't know. Uh, then just now, I put the N1707 into that little slot, seeing if that would actually fit 
with the drawer that's down there. Um, it doesn't, first off. So I made sure, double-checked, that the R5 would fit in there. Good news, it does. But, and this is, this is stupid. When I, when I was checking the measurements, they're all, they're all in millimeters, and I need inches because I'm in America. I'm in America, dang it. Anyway, um, <laughs> why can't those, why can't those foreign people get it right? <laughs> anyway, um, God, I, I've, I've just gone off the rails here. So I looked up a millimeters to inches, uh, converter on Google, and of course it, Google already has its own, so I started plugging in the numbers and measuring that little cubby hole right there, and it turned out that it was too big. So I was like, uh, okay, I thought I did this before, but okay. Um, go to the next measurement, which I think was height, and it, that didn't fit. It was actually a lot taller. <laughs> Um, at least a lot taller than I needed to be. So I was like, what the heck's going on here? I, I checked it a few days ago. So I checked the depth, and it turned out to come out, I think, I think it's just a little bit farther than the end wind does right now. And, uh, yeah, that's not supposed to happen. And so I was like, okay, what the balls is going on? This cannot be right. The, the R5 is significantly smaller than the end wind 707. So I went back to Newegg. By the way, I, I was getting all the measurements off of Fractal Design's um, product page, which is where you probably should get these kind of measurements, but I'm, I'm just stupid. So um, I went back to Newegg and checked the measurements there. Of course, they're in inches because Newegg, Newegg is... Um, I think Newegg is, is in Canada, I think. I think their warehouse is in New Jersey? Maybe? I don't know. Um, but their measurements were in inches. And I checked the measurements using those inches, and it fit perfectly. So I was like, okay, which one do I trust? So I went back to the Fractal Design product page for the R5. And it turns out <laughs> I was using the measurements for the packaging of the R5. Which is significantly bigger, because it has to be, it's significantly bigger than the R5 itself. Makes sense. But why put that on the product page? Who cares about the product, the packaging dimensions? I, there might be someone, but who, how was that um, like a major thing? I don't, I don't understand. But, <sighs> but I, 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 get, I figured it out. So I guess I'm not, I'm not entirely stupid, but I have, I have occasional moments of logic lapses, if you, if you want to, if you want to put it that way. Not, not necessarily logic lapses, I make mistakes, and those are, those compound into me being stupid, sometimes. So yeah, I'm a little bit stupid, so, um... That's going to be it for today. Just, just a few woes about getting the uh, R5. Also, um, two things actually. Um, Inwin has contacted me back via email and said, Hey, just give, it, give us your uh, sales invoice and we'll get that, uh, that PCB back to you. The PCB for the um, front panel audio that broke. Yeah, that. Um... So I'll probably send that to them either now or tomorrow. See what I can do. Um, I'll probably still get the R5, and I, that, I've been mulling over that all all day. But uh, I'll probably still get the R5 simply because it has a lot more features, and there are things that I just generally won't use on the NWIN 707. So. Not to mention the the R5 has sound dampening and all that stuff. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'll probably I'll probably do that. I'll probably get the R5 anyway. Um, 
What was the other thing? Oh yeah, the R5's um, price has gone up randomly. It was 90 bucks. Now it's 130, including shipping. So I'm not going to be buying it immediately. <laughs> uh, I only have like a hundred dollars in savings right now, so I'm probably not going to be buying it that immediately. So hopefully the price comes down soon again. Um, hopefully before my next paycheck comes in, comes in, because then I'll just I'll probably just buy it at full price and I'll feel really stupid for not not buying it when, when it was on sale. But um. Yeah, that's the plan. It's, it's not really much of a plan, but... Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, <laughs> tomorrow I work yet again. So, um, I'm... I have three days left, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, until I'm off on Sunday and Monday. So, uh, wish me luck. Se seven, working seven days in a row is not, it's not fun. It's just not fun. It's really not. Long vlog. Been talking a lot. Ranting a lot. Calling myself stupid a lot. But that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. Until tomorrow, I'll see you all later.